So writing an introduction is very similar to writing a lead. However, a lead is if you want to put a creative spin on it. Now they are very similar, but sometimes an introduction can just tell the reader what's going to happen. And in a lead, you might do a little bit more creative strategies. And that might be where you take the perspective of something and figure out a way to do it creatively. You're still teaching us something, you're still telling us the information, however, it, it just changes it. You present the information a little different. Um, how do we do that? How do we grab their attention? What we're going to do is talk and look at um, some strategies here that can help you and you can see and look at. So we have a news strategy and what this one does is it tells the, the reader what the reader needs to know in order in, in the order the reader needs to know it. The who, what, when, where, why. So that might be an introduction, but how can you present that? An anecdote, which is a brief story that reveals the essence of your subject. Quotation, that can give additional authority and a uh, fresh voice. So you can pull something and you found a great quote to start your paper off. That might help. Descriptive type of lead. It sets the scene for the story. Because you can actually write your report in the form of a story, but yet still teach us. Um, voice and that establishes the tone announcement tells the reader what you're going to say so that might be more of an introduction tension reveals the forces in the story and sets them in motion the problem establishes the problem that might be solved by um, your your entire paper the background provides background so the reader will understand the importance of this of the story historical places the story in a historical context. Narrative establishes the story as a form of an article. Uh, questioning involves the reader in the fundamental issue of the story. Point of view establishes the position from which the reader will be shown from the subject. Reader identification shows the reader how the story relates to them. Face gives the reader a, per a person with whom to identify during the reading of the story. So that might be where you give a character. You have a character from your your time period. If you're doing World War II, you might be a soldier. So that's the face that you're see, you're seeing it through, or the point of view. It might be how it's being told. The scene it sets up the action between the participants in the story, and then finally dialogue and allows the story's meaning to come from the interaction of the principal people in the story. So you might have more than one. So all of these are different strategies in which you can use to try and get started with your, your lead, your introduction. So what you need to do is get started. Go to your documents, see what you can figure out and practice around and play around with. Remember, writing more than one is not a big deal. You can write a couple different introductions because that makes writers good writers. Good luck.